I'm Avinash Subramanian. I work at Julia Hub, and I would like to talk about uh, Julia Sim HVAC. So HVAC signing for heating, ventilation, air conditioning, uh, refrigeration. Which uh, so Julia Sim HVAC is a platform for performing thermal fluid modeling uh, and composing that with uh, the SciML ecosystem. So uh, first of all, just uh, HVAC systems. Uh, composed sort of three different fields. So there is uh, the fluid mechanics, there is thermodynamics, and then uh, dynamical systems. So kind of uh, like presenting an overview of, um, of, of, a, of an HVAC system. So in a room, what a user would see would be uh, the evaporator, so the box somewhere in the cor corner is uh, just one of these pieces. So that's the, the piece called an evaporator. And then uh, behind the scenes, there is a refrigeration loop. Um, so the main goal of, of an air conditioning system is to uh, remove heat from like inside, inside a room uh, uh, to, and in some way uh, move that heat against nature, so against the temperature gradient to the outside of the, of the room. So um, by making use of so by making use of work in the form of compressor uh, in inputs. So the the main pieces of uh, of an HVAC system are uh, the evaporator, uh, the the compressor. So the, the refrigerant gains uh, some uh, is pressurized and gains some temp uh, gains some temperature, and then um, it is able to to lose heat in the condenser. So this is the, the the part that is usually the part of the air conditioner that is put outside the apartment uh, with a fan usually, and uh, that releases that heat into the atmosphere. And then there's a valve to to close the system. And one like graphical way of understanding this is through this uh, pressure. Uh, enthalpy diagram or energy diagram. So like over like down here at the bottom. There is a, a, a gain of uh, a gain, removal of heat from from the room, uh, and then uh, at the top here uh, is discharge of that heat to the environment. So, it's a very quick overview of the uh, fluid mechanics, and uh, just to show how this generalizes to other sim sim similar systems. So, uh, behind the scenes, we implement a one D Navier Stokes equation and have like a finite volume. Uh, discretization, so this is like mass, energy, and momentum balances. Um, and we have the capability for two-phase flow because um, like evaporation is from liquid to gas. Um, and um, we also need to account for a, uh, a bunch of other fluid mechanics phenomena such as compressible flow, turbulent flow, viscous dynamics. So all of these are, pres uh, are present in the, um, uh, in the HVAC system and obviously heat transfer. So um, th the next thing I'd like to show is that uh, mention is that uh, all these, like the, the modeling of all these fluid mechanics phenomena tend to create a bunch of numerical challenges. In particular, uh, they, they yield stiff and discontinuous dynamics and also um, so this requires special like adaptive, uh, ad adaptive step size solvers. Um, and um, we also need r robust DA in initialization procedures. So the goal of the Julia Sim HVAC uh, platform is to abstract away all of these uh, complications from the industrial user. So uh, the goal is to just present the industrial user with what they need. So we, we present like three main features at the moment, which is um, pre-built components. So we have pre-built heat exchanger, valve, compressor, and so on components that a user can drag and drop and just uh, present what they need to present. Uh, sorry, sorry, configure just what they need to configure and then uh, all the, um, you know, all the mathematics and differential equation solving goes on behind the hood. Uh, we also provide fast and accurate uh, spline-based thermodynamic property models. And these tend to be um, like three to four orders of magnitude faster than querying calls um, on equation of state-based, uh, uh, like a full equation of state-based system. And we have a, a, a robust ecosystem, which I'll present. So next, just presenting a quick demo of this. 
which I hope is, is clear. So, uh, so the first thing is one would uh, import the HVAC package, which, which is available from Julia Hub, together with a bunch of other open source packages, modeling toolkits, SAML base, um, and so on, data interpolations, and so on. Uh, next, one would load the refrigerant medium. In this case, uh, they usually have these names uh, with uh, R32 as, as an example here. Uh, so this loads the, 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 the splines. This is also provided uh, directly from uh, uh, by HVAC. Then one can set initial conditions. So um, here's an example using Pluto sliders. There's obviously a code-based uh, uh, version as well. And um, in this case, I would like to also set control input. So as an example, uh, le let's say you are uh, turning on the air conditioner. So that's like a really quick ramp up from, from zero, from cold start. And then maybe it's not cold enough, and then you turn it on even more, and then uh, because you want to uh, take out more heat from the room. So this is just one synthesized control trajectory that, uh, that can be used. So uh, HVAC provides a bunch of, uh, uh, the, the API has a bunch of, uh, uh, for instance, for the compressor, one would have like a typical compressor and one would like declaratively uh, put in uh, the initial conditions that are relevant, the, the configuration that is relevant. And similarly, there is a typical LEV for, for the valve, uh, condenser and uh, evaporator geometries can also be um, uh, geometries and all uh, uh, all those parameters can be inserted as um, as, I sh as I show here next um, as is typical with uh, modeling toolkit one performs a structural simplifier and we see in this case so this is a relatively simple uh, like stylized case and uh, the full system has about 1200 states uh, of uh, in the uh, in the DAE and after structural simplification, it hits 70 states. So then one formulates the ODE problem and uh, so initializes and and solves. And typically, we are able to solve in less than a second, uh, primarily le leveraging this fast uh, spline um, interpolations and adaptive solvers from uh, from the SAML ecosystem. So um, we f to debug. Uh, we, al we also provide a bunch of canned plots. So for in instance, this is a pressure and uh, pressure uh, enthalpy plot. So when we turn on, so this is, these dynamics are what go, uh, what go on behind the scenes when we turn on, uh, uh, turn on the air, air conditioning unit. So the compressor creates this pressure lift that allows for uh, temperature flow. So, um, I would like to say a lot more on calibration, but uh, there is a uh, there's a there's a, a talk, a 30-minute talk on Friday, um, entirely talking about how to connect an HVAC model with uh, uh, with a model optimizer for calibration, both static and in in five lines of code. Um, so. The roadmap is uh, to compose this with uh, multi-domain systems, so particularly batteries, HVACs, drivetrains, buildings and HVACs, acceleration using surrogates and controls and so on. So uh, that's what's going on. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Um, I was wondering how you make sure that you don't connect elements which have, for example, different refrigerant, which have different like inherent properties. Uh, for example, you know, two different refrigerants cannot exist. Uh, at the moment, we like it's we only have one like global refrigerant that that can be loaded in in uh, in HVAC. Um, there is the. Like modeling toolkit also supports this idea of domain connectors, which is meant to be the way of making this more extensible. And sometimes you might want to have like two separate refrigerant loops with two systems. Um, so the idea is to extend to uh, to use those semantics. Uh, 